Hey guys, so today I want to do a bit of an Ulta haul. So, with hauls, I probably have like two or three on my channel, but I always buy makeup and I'm like, oh my god, like, let me do it for the haul. Like, yeah, I should totally get it, try new things. And I never haul it. I literally sits in a bag in the corner staring at me, and then it just gets to a point where it's like, F this, like, I'm sick of this bag, let me just put it away. And I'll like pull it later so I can do a haul, and I never do, but today we're doing an Ulta haul. I'm very excited. Um, some of the things I have tried, some of them I have not tried yet. So, yeah, let's get into the haul. It's pretty full. Um, so first things first, I picked up this Real Techniques. Um, uh, what is it called? Body sponge, contour, tanner, bronze, miracle face, and body sponge. It's just the jumbo size of their miracle complexion sponge. Um, I was at my cousin's house and I was helping her do her makeup and I saw that she had this big ass sponge and I was like, I have a man face, so maybe that would work for me. Like, it would cover more area faster. Um, so I bought this. I tried the miracle complexion sponge before and I wasn't obsessed with it. Um, this one, it feels like. I, I mean, it feels okay, like, it's just a little bit harder, but this is actually really big, like, let me compare it to something. So, this is the Max Studio Fix Fluid, this is a sponge. She's big, so, and I don't know if she gets that much bigger when you wet it, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm a hardcore beauty blender lover, like, this is my beauty blender that's wet right now, so you can see that this is actually really big. Um, I do like this flat top surface, I feel like it'd be good for, like, baking or... I don't know. I have to try it out. I'm going to give it a chance eventually, so we're looking into that. Um, next thing, I did run out of my Benefit Professional, so I thought, you know, let me stop being, like, stingy and let me try something different. So I tried the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. This is a smoothing one. I noticed that in all, like, the Urban Decay, like, anywhere that I go that sells Urban Decay, this is usually really low in stock or sold out. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say really good things. I like it. I have been using it. Um, I do feel like it is a little bit more heavy, and I feel like it takes a lot to really get it into the skin. Um, it gets kind of patchy sometimes, and it's not even like a moisturizer, like, making it coagulate type of thing. It's just like, that's just how it is. It leaves a little bit of a white cast, so if you're darker than me, it's definitely going to leave a white cast, but it's definitely worth trying out. Um, I feel like it does a good job of masking pores, so that's St. Tropez Self Tanning Mint. I mean, it is what it is. These actually rip on me because they don't have plus size sizes for my hand. So, that's that. Um, I got this as a sample, the Mario Badescu Collagen Super Collagen Mask. I have not tried this. The only thing I've used from Mario Badescu are the face sprays and then the drying lotion that's like for zits, which is really good. So, if you guys have any other favorites, I'm a huge like skincare obsessed person. So, if you guys have any favorites, leave them down below. I'd love to try some new things. Another real technique thing, so I was with my best friend inside Ulta and I picked up this Miracle Cleansing Sponge. Um, I'm assuming this is like the same idea as like a, what do they call those? A cognac sponge? I don't know. But Bosha has them and you wet them and you can scrub your face with them. I've been intrigued by those and I have yet to try them, but I picked this up and I have not tried it yet. I mean, she looks cute, but it's just like, I don't know. It's to exfoliate, so, and it, I mean, it's not really rough, then again, you don't want it really rough, but I mean, it seems like a good idea, but I feel like it's going to fall apart, so I will keep you guys updated on that. If you guys want a skincare routine, I should do one soon, so convince me down in the comments and we'll get to it eventually. Next thing, Dermablend Powder. I've been hearing everyone talk about this. And I'm hardcore in love with my RCMA, but I don't like the, sh the salt shaker thing to it. I just really don't. So I actually decanted it into a Laura Mercier little cup thing. Um, so I've been trying this. I'm actually using it today. It's nice, but I'm not completely convinced. I do feel like this dusts off a little bit cleaner than the RCMA. The RCMA leaves me with a bit of a white cast if I do like that, like, contour baking thing. Um, the RCMA, I really have to buff it out. This one, I feel like it just kind of cleans off really easily off your face. So I've definitely been loving this. I haven't had any issues. I feel like my makeup stays on. So she's been good to me so far. Next thing, I've been liking the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. I actually have a darker shade. I believe I have tan. This is medium. I'm wearing it like right under my eyes and I put Tarte Shape Tape. Um, and it has like a little bit of a pinkiness to it which really corrects. This is very hydrating so if you tend to crease a lot, 
I would try it, but like this is really like emollient and hydrating, which I like because I do use Retin-A and I'm constantly peeling and dealing with dryness, so this kind of counteracts that. Plus, I don't bake very heavily, but when I do, I do want something that's a little bit more hydrating under my eyes. So, this has been great so far. Um, I do like going over it with more of a brightening concealer because this is more correcting. But definitely check it out. It Cosmetics is usually really good. Um, so, yeah. Another thing from It Cosmetics. So, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I have tried it in the past. And I really love the idea of it. I love what you can get out of it. I love that it's more of a full coverage. Um, it's anti-aging, hydrating, and it has SPF 50. And I usually don't wear SPF just because I, I can't be bothered, even though I should. And I know it's horrible that I don't, but I, I just really don't because I'm barely outside. Um, but this has SPF 50, and it's just really good for your skin. So I wanted to give this another try. My issue before was I was a lot more tanned before. And I think I was in sh shade medium or tan. I don't even remember. And one time I was wearing it and literally all around my mouth, I remember I was going to Target, was literally gray. Now these don't have a lot of very yellow undertones or even pink undertones. They're very true to like a Korean BB cream where they're more like gray toned. So this one you might have to warm up if you are very yellow or very pink. Um, so I sometimes mix it with a little bit of foundation to sheer it out. I do like how this looks and feels on the skin. I don't have any issues with it other than that grayness. I haven't experienced it with this one. This is in shade light. Um, and it's very hydrating to the skin, very forgiving, and just smooths everything out. I really like it. Um, so I obviously had to pick up my favorite powder, which is the Maybelline Better Skin. I literally picked up three. I got shade 20, which is more of my fair shade, and I use it to set my under eyes when I'm more tan. Um, 25, which is my more more like a little bumped up shade if I have a little bit of a tan going on and then 80 which is actually my bronzer I'm wearing this today as my bronzer it's a lot more like cool tone leaning neutral well neutral leaning cool tone and it just kind of just I don't know like I put on so much and it doesn't look like too much it doesn't look ashy it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look orange it's literally the perfect color and I can even like deepen into the cheekbones and it gives me more of like a subtle contour. I actually really love all of these. The texture is amazing. They don't break me out. They're very lightweight on the skin but they keep me very matte and they also just smooth out the skin really nicely. So I've literally, this is my second round of each shade so I'm like in love with these. I actually think I'm going to put them inside of a palette and just depot them because I'm going to start traveling more soon and yeah. So those are great. Also from L'Oreal, I picked up the True Match uh, foundation. I wore it in a tutorial, I don't know if it'll be up yet, but this is W5. I like it. I feel like it's almost like MAC Studio Fix Fluid, but more of a powdery matte finish, if that makes sense. I don't feel like it really accentuates any dryness or anything, and I feel like it wears pretty well. Um, I'm not obsessed with it, but it's good. So I feel like it really has to grow on me and I have a lot of foundations that I'm really loving right now. So she has to perform a little bit better in order for me to fall in love, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and it has SPF 17. This is W5 Sand Beige. Um, it's more of the yellow. The yellows are warm in L'Oreal. I also picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Story, I actually used to have this and I wore it and I was actually literally obsessed with how matte and like long wearing it was but it actually gave me cystic acne all along here. Like I had a random, like under the skin, really bad, like painful acne from wearing this. I'm assuming, I could be wrong though. I wanted to give it another chance at least to put like in my T-zone and then put my foundation like that I like everywhere else. Like I'll put this in my T-zone and then it cosmetics everywhere else. And it actually really lasts a long time on my nose area and where my, like my glasses are because I usually do wear glasses. Um, it's nice, I'm still trying it out, but let me know your thoughts on this, and I also want to try the Pro Glow just to see. Let me know your thoughts. The Pro Glow shades did look a little bit gray to me. I don't know, maybe it was just the lighting. But yeah, so, she's been cute so far. I got this in shade 103 Natural Buff. Now, another primer that I picked up is the Tarte The Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I have swatched this so many times, and it's literally like cement pore filling, um, which I feel like I want to do, like, I don't know, like, I just want to put it everywhere, to be honest with you, so I can be just, like, hella smooth. But I feel like that'll be too much. I have yet to put it on my face because I have been testing out the Urban Decay one. But next week, I'm definitely going to try using this. Um, I will keep you guys updated. And see, I'm honestly so shocked I even bought this. This is pretty expensive. And it comes in a jar. I have tried their other one that's, see that's clear and it comes in the squeezy tube. 
the jar looks like really bougie and cute and the formula is very thick um so i will keep you guys updated on that i definitely want to try it soon probably next week um and yeah it really takes me a lot to stray from my professional just because i've literally gone through eight of those since i first started using it because i use it so much um but yeah so we'll see i really want to find a replacement because i'm sick of talking about professional but i know i'm gonna buy another one probably like next week just to have in case like something goes wrong and then also at ulta i did pick up some tart shape tapes i have a lot of shades because i picked up whatever shade I could get at the time. Um, so I have a large array of shades. I usually use light medium under my eyes or even fair. Today I'm wearing fair under my eyes for a really like bright under eye. Um, but I usually wear like light medium. I use deep to contour and like do some bronzing wearing that today as well. So if you can ever find shape tape in a shade and you're unsure, just get it and run. Because shape tape, honestly, I'll use it, like I've actually tried using it for foundation. And it was really cute. Like, it was really cute. So if they ever come out with a Shape Tape foundation, I will die. Like, literally die. So, yeah, that's my haul. It was small, short, to the point. Um, If you guys want to see more hauls, I can definitely do it. Like, just tell me that I should because that way I can spend more money. Um, But, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also leave me a request down below. If you guys want to see more hauls and more, like, interactive videos, let me know. Like, maybe some favorites. Who knows? Um, but yeah, if you guys like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I will see you then.